Welcome back from a hiatus from Hell's Paradise. Last episode, Tenza died. Why am I getting attached to these goddamn samurais? He was one of my favorites. And of course he dies. God fucking damn it. At least the girl and the other guy live. Now, we're gonna need to find a counter to these, these sages. But they're immortal beings. How the fuck are we gonna fight them if they just regenerate every time? I have an idea. The source is from the 10. And the 10 is basically other people, you know, that turn into flowers and getting sucked up. So if we just got rid of that shit just burn that up then wouldn't they become normal i don't know let's begin today's reaction though the gods and hermits gods and her so those immortal beings we've seen so far they're just hermits and not gods uh oh oh shit. wait that's the guy that killed tens of that last episode right that's him that's him we're fucked we're fucked, we're fucked. But is this a hermit? It's not a god, right? Because there's a distinction between the two. Yes. The source of the elixir, remember, are just those human sacrifices. <sighs> Never mind, we're fighting. Okay, oh, but like, hey, here's the thing. You know, Tenza was also landing hits, but none of it matters because they can just heal back up. If we take one hit, we're fucking done. But Gabimaru's a... <laughs> But Gabimon is a bit different in the sense that he's also very durable. I wonder if the little girl can damage her though. Right? Because the little girl has some kind of crazy like powers too. Oh, damn. Flames. Okay, okay. But even if we do all of this, won't they just regenerate? Wait, we might burn the clothes off though. Might get some fan service now. I love how that's my that's how my brain works. <laughs> what the fuck are my priorities? <laughs> ah shit. Turn into a guy. Come on! Damn. Ah yeah, he turned back to a guy. No nipples though, right? Exactly. Kinda crazy that Gabimaru can keep up and he's just fighting with the literal immortal being. And like, look, it does this seem like he has the upper hand? He's the one doing all the damages. Gabimaru has, well, he kind of is bleeding a bit. Okay. We just, we should just burn. No, the burning didn't do anything either. One hit. If we get hit once, it's fucking over. We need to like seal them, trap them somehow. If we can't kill them, like, we just need to, like, immobilize them somehow. Okay, we have to try to kick, I guess. What? What? A kick to the stomach is effective? Stomach's the weak point? Huh? Turn back to a girl. No nipples still. Where the fuck are the nipples, man? But why did it turn back to a girl? Look at them titties. <laughs> what? What? What are we gonna say? Oh shit. Why are you making a Rasengan? Wait, 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 relax, relax. Those are the same aura that the little girl uses when she punched, right? The eyes? Can you handle this? That was kind of fast. Look at that dent in his chest. Oh shit. Oh, 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 it's not just one, it's like multiple. This is probably some crazy internal damage. Yeah, exactly. I feel like the little girl has to come in and save him now, right? How the fuck do we defeat these? <laughs> the dick scar. That's right, think about the dick scar. That was kind of cool how their eyes turned to black, though. Well, like, we can't fucking trade blows. They just have such an advantage. This is the same shit that Tenza did last episode. And, like, destroy it faster than they can heal. Oh, shit, wait, wait, hold up. Hold up. But even if we do all this... Won't they just come back? It, it looks like... Oh, shit. <laughs> Punch right through her head. But 
Despite all this, you know it's just gonna get back up. It's looking pretty rough. This is some bullshit, man. With them again. Them is probably the gods. Wait. This isn't regeneration. This is how the other humans were also turning into better flowers. Why? Who is them? Why did the stomach hit hurt them so much? Uh, huh? Oh. Oh, what the fuck is? Oh. Oh, it's a second phase. Oh, wh what? There's a white and a black. Cause. His eyes did turn into black when he activated some kind of power. I thought they were just done, like, turning into flower like the other humans, but no. This is, like, phase two. Electric powers, too? Why does this thing remind me of a dick? I don't know. Everything in this show just reminds me of tits and ass and dick. I don't know, man. It's crazy that guy went and took all those hits and he's still up. Yeah, we need backup now, though. Ugh. It looks so grotesque, man. Ugh. It just looks like one big nipple, doesn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Look at the way it's sticking out of the flower. Just wait for it. Oh, oh. The fly. No more Nimpo left either. And it was all a dream. No, you don't. You can't just do that. You can't just do it. was just all a dream right now. No, no, no. What the fuck? No, we're just doing flashback. This is a main character shit. He's going to think about her. She's going to say some profound things. And he's going to be like, I will never give up to save her. And then he'll come back. Watch. Imagine if it actually was a dream. No, you, I mean, you built up how many episodes now? Like eight episodes of this shit? You can't just do that now. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I thought... Flowers are growing out of them too. Little girl, where are? Might be a little late to. Wait, what? I thought that was the. I thought that was Gabimaru's blood, but he sliced her. What the fuck does that even mean? It just basically means plot armor kicks in at the end. Instinctively. This is like a subconscious, like unconscious state of like ultra instincts. But this is like a suicide bomb. It's kind of working though. It's a fucking nipple. It's a protruding nipple shooting electric at you. Little girl, little girl. It's a little girl. Little girl, could you have not come in like 10 minutes earlier? You just waited this entire time? Oh? Barrier, I think it's... Okay, okay, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe. But this is super cool to know. These beings have like a second... Ugh. Second phase. Is it dead now though? Or can it just come back? I can just come back. May. May. He knows her. Because the little girl also took the powers, but how important is this main character moving forward? She must be super important. There's seven of them, okay. So far, we've met like three, right? True. I mean, I can't deny that. <laughs> Yeah, so whenever they just want to look sexy and pretty, they just stay girls, you know, and then whenever they need to fight, they just turn into dudes. We just screw the other. I, I like, fellas, if you could change into a girl and you have another friend that could also do the same, would you, you know, do what they just said? But one, two, three, four, five, six. We haven't met this guy yet, have we? No, I don't think so. Conveniently hiding their eyes and the rest of their faces with the flowers. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Zuzin is the guy that we've been fighting recently. Oh, this is the next day. Gotcha, gotcha. 
No, this is fine because he'll just grow back. I'm like, hold on. Tao. Because he went to the second phase. And if he used too much power, then. Oh. Kishikai. Phase two. Kishikai. The more Tao you use because you went to this Kishikai, then they just don't look as pretty anymore. They look all old and shriveled up. Okay. He see, purple dude seems like the main guy though, huh? Look at him order everyone around. I hope they're fine. No, I hope those brothers are fine. See? 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 Yeah, the people here can fight. Yo, with the brothers. Oh, the brothers! Let's go. I, I just need everybody to like team up together and fight. There's the other big dragon samurai too, right? Where did he go? I forget. Nope. <laughs> Liar. Cap. Cap. There's more sacrifices for the 10. Oh, rainbow wall. Is this the elixir? This is the elixir, right? I think it is. Watch him turn back to normal. Ah. Look at that rainbow water. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Oh, oh, the purple guy is also split. Is this some pain shit from Naruto? <laughs> okay, main Gabimaru is good. God, we might've took so much fucking damage. Still good though, huh? No nipples. Yeah, they are. Dude, I'm telling you, that's just a giant nipple. He's back, but he is right in that, because if we push that guy to the second phase, the Kishitai whatever, he did look way more tired and like old. The more we push them, then maybe eventually they'll just run out of the source of the Tao and therefore they'll be like, Dragon Samurai, dude! Not now, we can't fight, bro. Bro, no, we need to work together! All right, let's take him out too. Very interesting development of plot. Seven total hermits that drink the elixir of immortality. There was a being that was beyond that split into the seven. And there's also apparently gods. They can have a second phase, like some Kishiri Tao. I forgot the name. But they have to use like Tao. And the more you use that Tao, the more old and shriveled up you become. So I would imagine the more you use that power, you become more and more mortal to the point where you can actually die. Like what would have happened if we fought him after that transformation? Pretty interesting to know. The dragon samurai guy at the end, I just hope that he can join our side. I hope he's not like the same case with the big, big dude that we, you know, the guy that was eating everyone. Like we need to team up. Same with the brothers and same with that other rogue kid that survived the last time. But things are getting pretty heated up. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.